welcome YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Now, I have a question for you. Have you guys ever wanted to have your own battery operated walking dinosaur? Well, you're in luck because I actually found a kit that lets you build your own. Yeah, this is back from 1989, so uh, Toys R Us. Um, I had picked this up at a thrift store a while ago. Um, it's by Edu Science. I don't even know if they're around anymore or not. But, yeah, it allows you to assemble a uh, metal and robot battery powered dinosaur. Fortunately for me, the gearbox, this, has already been uh, pre-assembled, so that's one less. So, it does say that I need a needle nose plier and a Phillips head screwdriver. I also have a magnet here, just in case I uh, lose any of my parts. Um, two double A, and all these lovely parts. And yes, I had to separate all of these just to make sure I have them in proper order. So without further ado, let's try a hand at this. Um, as with my Lego builds, I will... Well, be quiet as I do this. Um, I will apologize. This is my first attempt at doing something like this in a very long time. Um, so, I may mess up, I may not. Let's get to it. So, little tip, I actually learned that if you have a non-magnetic uh, screwdriver and you need to, well, hold your screws on tight, just simply find a good magnet and put it on, and you can pretty much guarantee a slightly magnetic uh, screwdriver. So let's continue.
So it actually took me a lot longer than I would like to admit on assembling this. Um, <clears throat> the legs were trickier than I thought. Um, you have to keep them mildly loose, but at the same exact time, you can't have them super loose or they wouldn't work right. And it only functions perfectly if you attach the arms in correctly. But you still got to make sure that these joints here are semi-loose. And screwing them in was quite a pain. Plus, adding tape here just kept all the wires from flaying around and getting caught. But <clears throat> when I finally assembled it, it actually does work. So, let me show you. It's not perfect. Um, I'm still trying to work out a few of the kinks, um, but it works. As you can see, I think one of the joints is a little tighter than the other. So that's what's causing. But, yep, that's the uh, walking dinosaur. Um, fear not, though, I actually have a second one. If you guys are interested, uh, let me know in the comments below. I have a walking triceratops. And it looks just as complicated as the other one. So hopefully I can assemble it in far less time than this one took. Uh, now that I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, Alright. Peace out YouTube. Have a great day.